Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and I wanted to just quick, quick, quick talk about frame rates in Vegas. So this is this is essentially some research I'm doing for several different videos, including disabling resampling and slow motion and all sorts of stuff. And I just noticed something that I wanted to explain to you. So this is how to do true to life slow motion in Vegas. So if I have a project settings at 24 frames per second here, I'm displaying which is the minimum you need to be the minimum of 24 frames per second to have a realistic motion. I have my project settings here to be 24 frames per second. Really it's 23.976 but that is a rounding thing which has to do with codecing stuff and audio and don't worry about that. You're really talking about 24 frames per second for all the practical math purposes. So even though this video, this is the video source video right here, see the t uh, that's the text title the video title 60 frames per second this video right here if you look at the properties it is a 59.940 which is really just to say 60 frames per second frame rate so this frame rate is 60 pictures per one second of video but because I have it in a timeline that says I only want to display 24 pictures for one second of video Vegas is actually choosing how many what frames to display and I'm sure there's some fancy math behind this but if we zoom in here we can go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and look at that right here on our timeline we hit one second exactly which means we are showing 24 frames per one second of video even though this footage is shot at 60 frames per one second of video that means I have a lot of leftover frames I can use. So if you want to do true to life slow motion in Vegas, what you can actually do is do a little bit of math, right? If you have if you have 24 frames and you want to see how slow you can slow down 60 frame footage, 60 24 divided by 60 is 0.4. So 40% speed is the speed in which you can demonstrate your video footage with realistic motion. So your slow motion, that's as slow as you can slow it down without having a choppiness or having to have Vegas invent frames, which involves sampling or the special slow-mo warp flow methods and stuff like that. So again, the slow motion effect, that's something different. That's a topic for a different video because that is when you're creating frames. I'm talking about using Vegas to do slow motion without creating any extra frames. This is the original footage. And this is the footage slowed down to 40% speed. So I'm still, I still have, Vegas is not having to invent anything. I'm still displaying one frame that I filmed per, uh, per frame that Vegas is displaying. And Vegas is not having to invent anything, create intermediate flames, double frames, 3-2 pull down, nothing like that. This is just one frame per video. And the math isn't 100% perfect. So uh, the, since the math is a little rough, wouldn't be surprised if Vegas had to do a little bit of finessing to get this to look perfect behind the scenes. But for the most part, this is true to life slow motion. So I want to talk about how to achieve that. When you drop the footage, this is the whole shot, which is a lot of me not dropping an ice cube. Uh, but if you slow it down by hitting the control key, you're actually stretching this. You can do the same thing with a velocity envelope. If you go to insert video envelopes, event velocity, when that clip is highlighted, you can actually change the velocity of the, of the footage to whether you speed it up or slow it down with the event velocity and that's how you would do speed ramping and that's a that's covered in another tutorial but for this one I just want to do a basic hit control and stretch this out to 40 percent speed when I see a 40 percent there in the bottom left hand corner well, I'll know it's at 40 percent speed and there so now now this is how I achieve the actual slow motion it's because I had all those extra frames I could fill up so all these frames now have somewhere to go they pigeonhole right where they need to be that's how I created the slow motion thank you so much for watching I hope this video helped you out this has been some research for some bigger tutorials I'm doing as far as Vegas works with resampling and frame rates and things like that and I've also got more movie studio stuff coming out 
uh, I'm in the middle of editing something and I said something in one of those videos and I was like wait is that true and so I got on this big rabbit trail of it so uh, this is a you're seeing the results of a rabbit trail this is a little video uh, not one of my fully produced ones just something that I'm throwing out as some research uh, in the middle of some other videos so thank you so much for watching like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one I'll see you next time